there anything going on that you want to well, um a lot of times when no. people come in to see the courthouse, they always want to see the jail, so I'm usually the one that does the tours down here. So I take people down and show them the jail cells just like I'm showing you. And um, one day there was a lady that had a really expensive camera, and she was taking pictures. She was trying to take pictures. Her camera broke. So she came back a couple weeks after that, and she bought one of those little disposable cameras. And she did take some pictures and she sent me one and there were boxes over there like there are now and you could see the boxes and then behind the boxes you could see a figure of a person you could see the shoulders and the head and wispy hair so would you think that might have been a female yes yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. yeah because of the way the hair was and is that picture in existence anymore? No. no. <laughs> I had it under my blotter at my desk, and I used to show people all the time. And one day I went to show someone, and it was gone. Could be so, the spirit doesn't want people. I have to no speak. proof. You never know. You never know. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Is there any other anything else that you can tell me about at all that you know of before we get to? That's jail the cell? only experience. Well, I had one other experience. I was cleaning out the jail cell, and that was only a couple weeks ago. And we had a hand scanner con connected to a computer down here. And when I walked by, the hand scanner went on. And, the it, light wasn't, on. and, and it, it wasn't, wasn't plugged in. in, nothing was hooked up. It was just sitting on the table, and I saw the light come on when I walked by. Fantastic. Okay. Yeah. All right, well, once you step aside, I'm going to have Tawny take a picture. Um, as you can see, these are very small cells. Um, it looks like they had one bulb and two little bunks, um, no toilets, actually. Right. Nope. There's a toilet right here. It's oh, a nice. community toilet. Community you know. toilet. Probably Everybody. in 1900, they didn't have toilets, so. So they that just used probably buckets, probably, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I just, just to let you guys know, when we were on the show, we were in the brig in the USS Hornet, and this really reminds me of it a lot. Well, this lot. one's made out of a old battleship. Oh, oh there you go. The oh, oh, wow, that's fantastic. Huh. Isn't that it's interesting? Got that nautical feeling. Well, I mean, that's why it looks like it looks totally like what we were almost in. All right, Josie, why don't you tell me a little bit about what you know and what kind of experience you've had in here? Well, in the cells themselves, I must have a peaceful coexistence with the spirits. <laughs> Every once in a while I get the goosebumps, you know, it's not all the time, but it's, they haven't really bothered me down here, except for one occasion there was, there's an old kitchen that's over here and the door was also open and it was used by the inmates, the trustees would use it and the uh, uh, deputies mm -hmm. down here. And the door was also open and I came down and I noticed that the it was dark down here and the door was closed and I opened the door, walked to the other part of the basement and came back and the door was closed. And I did that several times. And it was uh, closed every time. Working down here mm -hmm. and the door kept closing and I kept uh, going over to the door to see if it could close by itself and there were definitely nobody down here. Really? And, uh, so that, that's kind of my lone experience of, uh, down here. Have you heard of any other experiences from any other people that work here? Uh, just, uh, there's a lot of ladies that don't even want to come down here because they just get the... Heebie-jeebies? Yeah, get the creeps. And every once in a while, it depends on my mood or what's going on and, you know, my life is stressed out. If I come down here and I'm kind of stressed out, I just get goosebumps and... It makes you feel better? I, I don't know. It just <laughs> some little spirit it therapy. Yeah, there. <laughs> it's a, like they're communicating like, hey, it's not so bad. Well, that's nice know. though that they're doing that yeah. for you. That's that's kind of a nice bond you have there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I come down here when things aren't going right, and and it works out your problems. Talk to them. <laughs> Giving you crap. Make sure nobody else is down here, so I hear me talking to myself. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Mm. Um, I had on um, two other occasions, um, if you've seen any of our previous stuff on our website, we crossed over a little boy at Doc Holidays. There was a medium there named Kelly, who's an angel reader, that helped us cross that boy over. Now she came in here, and she was so upset that she couldn't stay. She was. She said there was something very dark in here, and not to even for us to even bother going in here but 
of course, we want to check it out. So here we are. So we'll have to see if maybe the guys that like you, if they like us or they don't like us tonight. So we'll try to make, you know, some kind of communication with what's down here. Okay, well, thank you. And uh, then we have the ladies' cell block also. There's okay. a lot of records in there. And okay, let's go over there. We're cleaning there. these, uh, we're cleaning out. That this used to be just storage in there. Okay, all right, fantastic. Okay, um, I've got goosebumps right now. Big time. Whoa, okay. Sorry, I just lit up like a Christmas tree. I get that's what I feel, and it was an overwhelming charge of energy. Well, the send. only apparitions that have been seen in the building are those are females. Yeah, well, she just kind of she either went through me and she's yeah. still right here or she's waiting for us. Mm -hmm. So, okay, guys, that was cool. Let's go on. <laughs> All right, Tawny, um, Tawny just saw something. Tawny, tell me what just happened when we came back here. Just as we were walking out of that room, I just started feeling a little cold and I looked straight back towards this, even past where that chain little wall thing is right there and there was a black male figure. It was a male figure? And walked that way. Okay. Can you walk that way? I'm going to pan over no, here. There's another cell um, Actually, what is very ironic about this is that we were kind of already told that there was a dark spirit of a man that hangs out back here. Oh, he was right here and walked right there. And he just walked past. Ooh, I just felt something. All right, Kelly, why don't you tell me about your experience at the Gilpin County Jail? I was at the jail doing a computer class for two of the employees and we took a break and they knew that I was an angel reader and a medium and they asked me to go down into the basement of the courthouse and I did um, very briefly. Um, we kind of toured downstairs. I immediately felt sick. I felt very heavy energy. I felt a lot of sadness, a lot of anger, um, and then I saw one of the clearest spirits I have ever seen. Um, he was off to the left when I came down. Um, before I went down the steps, I asked Archangel Michael to go with me and to be my guide and my protector, and also I called on Jesus. I saw this spirit. He um, was an attractive man. Um, he had a black beard dark hair, dark eyes. I kept hearing the word pirate, which didn't make any sense to me. Um, he looked at me and he didn't say anything, but Archangel Michael said, he is repulsed by your light. He hates you and um, he cannot hurt you, but he doesn't want you here. And the, the spirit never spoke. He just looked at me like he wanted to kill me, he, um, but that he couldn't though. Um, that was basically my experience. I wanted to leave immediately, even with being protected. I, um, it was a very negative, very negative place. Um, the spirit with the black beard continued to watch me as I walked around. And, um, that was the only contact. He did not speak to me. He just looked at me with very, um, hate filled eyes. Okay, thank you. I have a, a psychic friend of mine, Venus, her name is, and uh, brought her down here one Halloween night, and uh, she would not come into these cells, and she insisted on leaving immediately, and Venus is, was fearless, nothing scared this lady and uh, she uh, she was afraid that the doors would shut on her she had the feeling that they would this door shuts also oh, wow but it won't like lock right no well it shouldn't <laughs> okay, yeah well, that's all we need dude <laughs> I just 
want to know that you're here. And now is your time to communicate with us. So bring it on. Come on. I want to see this. I want you to show me your energy. Light that up for me. Now, it's still at 74. There's nothing fluctuating. Mm -hmm. Obviously, he's not going to want to play in this this uh, actual cell. So let's go across. Let's go across and see if we can pick up anything there. Okay. Because you know they may be stuck in a certain cell. I don't know. Quite Watch possibly. Out. There's a uh, lip. Let's see All right, we're going to go into the cell next to here. Um, I'm definitely feeling something in here. Is there anyone in here? <gasps> what? Something in that cell. Something was in that cell. Oh my fucking god. I'm not even fucking kidding you. You didn't hear that? No. Oh my god. <laughs> no, clear as fucking day. What'd you hear? Holy shit. <laughs> oh my god, I've never freaked out like that. <laughs> Something moved in that cell. How come you're right behind us? Why don't you just come in here with us? <sighs> oh, my right arm. You okay? It was like somebody got up off that fucking cell, like bed. They might have. I don't know why this thing is work picking them up. Are you the gentleman that's a friend with Josie right now, helping him through his hard times? Oh my god, I've never freaked out like that. Like that was right behind me. Out. Holy Moses, that was like right behind me. <laughs> Like, it literally was like somebody got up off of that bench and was coming with me. <laughs> okay. Are you alright? Yeah. That just scared the bejesus out of me. <laughs> okay, oh well, God. we know you're here now. You, Tani just heard you. Why don't you do it so that we can all hear you? I didn't hear that. Make a loud bang somewhere. There's an office phone going off. Mm -hmm. There's what? A phone. An office phone. An office phone's going off. Boy, you guys are just really got some good hearing. Mm. Damn. <laughs> I thought, did you pee your pants? No. That's <laughs> cool. Safe score. <laughs> did you see me come jumping yeah. in here? <laughs> I thought he was right next to you. Oh my you god. Wait, okay, I'm going to touch this. I want to make sure this thing's still working because I don't get this. I don't get this at all. We should definitely be picking up something on this. Are you just staying far away enough that you're not triggering my, my little equipment here? Is that what you're doing? You're playing a little game with us? Allison says, yes, you are playing a game with us. How come? Why don't you come in here and talk to us? I just saw a red light that just lit up on the other side of that top bunk. It was just very faint. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'd love to say I'd go back out in the hallway, but mm -mm. nope, sorry. Poor Tani. Poor Tani. God. You might be in here right she in just got scared out of her. Okay, we're going to go back towards the back of the thing. So Did you just hear that? Yeah, that was me. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. We're going to go out here. Watch. Can I happen. not be in the back? Um, Tani, yes. you're filming, honey. <laughs> I, I don't know what to tell you. Do you want to switch? Whoa. Do you want to switch with her? No, because I can't see anything either. Can you right. see now? Yep, I'm okay. out. All right. So we're in the very back here. Looks like there's another room back here, but there's too much junk in here to even go into, so I'm not going to. Um, something just touched my left hand. Thank you, I just felt you go by me. Thank you. Um, is this where you hang out in the very back? I can definitely feel you right now. I'm, I'm pretty much lit up at the moment. What's your Say the word gold. Is there gold on this property? 
You're trapped on this. He's trapped on the property. Please, do you say please? Yeah. I, I know who he is now. You do? Um, Josie told me about this, a story about there's gold bars somewhere in here. And we don't, he doesn't think it's in the safe. He, I, I picked up on a brick wall. And Josie yeah, said, yeah, behind a brick wall. And the guy walled someone in with the gold. What? Like Somebody's that? in there with the gold? Yes. Like I they buried somebody with the gold? Yes. And I bet you it's this gym. Oh, I just got touched. Where'd you get touched? Full side. Boy, it felt like it was coming. Is this true? Is this you that you put somebody in the wall with your gold? And now you're trapped here? Or are you the man that's actually in, in the, the wall, wall mm -hmm. and you're trapped? Are you trapped around here somewhere? Right. Can you tell us where you're at? You said the word east earlier. Are you on a... I did say a, east. Yeah. East wall? This end? This end? By the door. Fuck. He's upstairs. That's crazy. No, this inn, and there's a door right there. Yeah. So you're here. That's... I'm sorry that you're you're trapped. I wish we could help him. We could probably help. Could Ask try. if he wants help. Do you want help? To go over and go to heaven? Do you want to cross over? We can do that. Say the word help if you want help. And don't be afraid. Why didn't Josie tell us all that? Yeah, I forgot totally to mention it. I, yeah. Do you want to stay here? Is this your. Hide. Do you want to stay here with your gold? I didn't catch that, but he said hide. Mm -hmm. Are we supposed to... America. Murder. Oh. So Somebody he's... murdered you, did they? Shoot. Shoot. They shot you. And then they buried you in the wall. So we're coming back into the jail part of the male side. We have our ovulus with us, so we're going to see if maybe he can communicate with us on that level. Remember, Tawny, there's a step up here? Yep. Okay, guys, we're back. Remember, Leanna, that I don't like it in here? I know you don't. Um, really quick, I have a piece of equipment here with me. It's got a little Just red light that flashes. I hate this place. Um, Talk to us. We just talked to a gentleman that was out and was obviously had some issues with the law that was murdered and was cased up with gold. Um, we're going to try to play that back and find out exactly what's happened. That was Tony's foot. And why don't you again try to tell us who you are, or why you're here. Tell us your story. This box, as you could hear around the corner, and I know you did. They talked. You can talk. I heard something faint in the right hand side. I'm not back here. I'm telling you, it's that back cell. You think so? Yeah. I feel it in here too. I don't like it too much this time. I felt a lot more at ease out in that hallway this time. Mm-hmm. I felt I totally cool, comfortable. Will die. Yep, thanks, bye. <laughs> no, he his name could have been Will or Will Die. I don't like that. <laughs> Thank you. That's exactly no, where my brain no, went. Let's let's be nice, okay? There's no reason to be mean. We're just trying to help you out. Hear your story also. Record it for you. Did you die in these cells? Blood. Blood. 
Okay, peace out on that. Will die blood, thanks. But no thanks on that. Are you angry? Compound. Are you angry? Are you mad? Are you just sad? This is called disaster. It says sky master, but it means disaster. Oh, okay. I'm getting like touchy stuff all over me right now. Mm -hmm. Like Ooh. little. Um, I thought I just saw a shadow. Maybe it could have just been the and light. I'm going to have to take my lead because it tried to get inside me just now. Okay. Okay, let's Didn't go. Didn't keep your end of the bar. Nope, I want out. Okay, let's go. If she's to go. trying to go, then I'm going to. Come on now. We were trying. We didn't want you to be Are you going about first, it. Allison? Yeah. Okay. Is that I'm right behind you. Oh, dude, he's like right behind me. All right, let's go. You're not coming with us. No. Stay where you're at. 